if we do not restore the validity of nuclear deterrence, we are doomed. So you see our friends in the NATO, but it's not only uh, in the West, but it's not only in the West, there will be multiple crises. We are doomed to multiple crises and escalating into the Third World War. It is automatic. It will happen in the next several years, and we'll have to see there, 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 and see some future crises. Unfortunately, goodwill doesn't work. So let us restore at least nuclear deterrence and fear of a fear of annihilation, which unfortunately our European and Western uh, neighbors forgot. They forgot what the crimes they have committed to themselves, because of humanity and driving themselves, themselves and the world, those third world war. We have to stop that. But it's, and again, Ukraine is one, uh, I really have pity for Ukrainians. Uh, they, of course, they lead through them, it's a bit uh, but uh, normally Ukrainians are not to be blamed uh, for that. And uh, we really advise uh, those well, those that. But it is, Ukraine is not the problem. Uh, as to the possible solution, if uh, Ukraine remains totally disarmed, uh, totally disarmed, totally neutral, with all kind of guarantees, and even the peacekeeping troops of Asia, uh, why not? Of course, we would not yield the uh, territories which, were, <laughs> which we, were, we have taken, although maybe we could even take more, because Ukraine is a very, uh, well, have shown, again, against all pleads of our, I remember talking to most of the Ukrainian elites for years, I mean, don't get closer to NATO, you'll end up with that war. Okay. They didn't, they could not, uh, obey the orders of, of the Almighty. And as to the Sambul agreement, let me remind you that it was the last try, and we agreed on most of the things. And then they were simply ordered by their Western uh, uh, masters to resume war. Okay. Okay. So the Western masters are to be yes. dealt with. Professor, yes. So now, yes, uh, after the uh, the points of the uh, Ukraine and Russia. I'm not sure that the, from Serbia and Hungary, as the regional countries, do you have any suggestions to those two neighbors? <laughs> How could they do something better to deal with the dilemma between the military solution, the national solution, and others? Please, or for the Serbia. Uh, 